It's October, and these guys are on the move. Oh, look at that. I start talking and he stopped. He's listening to me. Anyway, I don't know why these guys are always on the move in October. Maybe it's because they're in some other form up until then. But it looks like they really have purpose in life. Here's another one. This one isn't moving so much anymore. <clears throat> but October is critters crossing the road time. I don't know if you noticed this, but you get a good rainstorm, you got toads jumping across the road at night. You got the snakes, it's their last chance on a sunny day to cross the road, they'll do it. But what's interesting to me is that they all manage to do it at right angles. They all know they're going across the road. I don't know how they know this because their eyeballs are just millimeters above the ground. Here in Winlaw, we have a designated snake crossing on the back road. Snakes don't read though. Here's a nice little beach well within the snake crossing zone. So the snakes, they like to sun themselves here and then they cross the road legally because this is the snake crossing area. And then they end up at the foot of Cougar Rock. Hang on, there's a car coming. Watch for snakes. And uh, here's the problem though. If the snake goes crossing the road here at Cougar Rock, well within the zone, they'll end up in this ditch, which is full of poison ivy. Now, what I don't know is do snakes have a problem with poison ivy like humans do? What do you do with a snake with a rash? Do you take it to the vet? Maybe we can get the RDCK to work on this. It's a problem. Turkeys, on the other hand, don't seem to have much trouble crossing the road. They do it in large groups around here. Look at this. Wow. That's a lot of birds. Thanksgiving coming, too. Look out, guys. Look out. At least they got eyeballs about a foot and a half off the drive, so I guess that helps. Got it. Road edge. <laughs> yeah, he's going the right way. That's what I love about all the wild critters, you know. They don't use crosswalks. You know, they don't buy insurance. They don't do any banking. They don't have Instagram accounts. You can be sure if the government found a way to tax you for the snakes on your property, they would. Mr. Van Bruegel, we found some snakes. That's going to be $16 per month. Kind of like a Spotify account. See, he knows where he's going. You ever just sit in the woods for a while? Just sit and watch. It's good for you. I think it's the cure to most people's problems these days. So, snakes have been around a lot longer than cars. But if given a few million years of dealing with traffic, could they adapt? So, what I propose is the snake slithers across the road this way, here comes a car, and it gets killed. But if the snake turns its body this way and rolls across the road, thereby limiting the surface area exposed to tires, it would be able to get across the road with a greater chance of survival. The roller snake. How many millions of years would it take to come up with something like roller snakes? You know, that's evolutionary biology, man. That That's a, a long period of time. And Darwin was wrong about some shit, that's for sure. 
he didn't understand what a cell was really. He thought it was a little blob of magical stuff, but he had no idea of all the intricacies and the, the, the inner mechanics and workings on the inside of it. And all that stuff's alive. That's a miracle. Also, he had mommy issues and, and he snorted a lot of cocaine. Or was that Freud? I think that was Freud. So if you're driving down the road, you see some little critter trying to get across. Is it that much trouble to swerve a little bit and let the guy, let the guy cross? Six feet of space between the tires on your car. You can fit all kinds of things under there. Snakes and toads, caterpillars. Maybe not an elk. I'm not saying swerve your car into a busload of kids. Don't do that. But give the little guys a chance, you know? Summer home is over there, and their winter home is over there. They're just trying to get home. I hope you get home safe, too. Happy Thanksgiving.